Hello everybody, this is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic. <clears throat> it has been a minute since I've done a research live moment, but um, I've got a really great paper that just came out a few months ago by a, uh, uh, what they call chiropractic biophysics, um, uh, CBP specialist in chiropractic. And so what they, they specialize and focus on is the uh, curves and uh, global alignment of the spine and one of the areas that they they specialize in is the neck and it actually developed from an upper cervical chiropractic perspective um, back in the 60s and uh, the gentleman that uh, produced this paper by the name of Evan Katz um, he uh, he did a lot of great work here and give him you know hats off uh, great paper it's called increase in cerebral blood flow indicated by increased cerebral arterial area and pixel intensity on brain magnetic resonance angiogram falling correction of cervical lordosis okay lots of big words basically what it means is they increased the flow of blood to the brain um, after uh, these corrections to the neck now <clears throat> How does this relate? What is, what is the importance of it? Um, what we know is that when the alignment of the neck, and I'll get my, um, my uh, little spine here, so just hang on. Um, we know that uh, when the alignment of the neck is a nice, even curve, um, it, the blood flows through these arteries up to the brain. They're called vertebral arteries and a, a percentage of the blood that goes to your brain goes through the spine. And that can become a problem when the neck is injured in a head or neck whiplash or concussion or mild traumatic brain injury or even just from repetitive postures. But what can happen is the neck slowly straightens out over time and we, what we get is what we call a, a, a um, straightening of the neck or a military neck, they call it that, or a reverse curve where the neck actually bends forward like this and will actually have a bump in the lower part of the neck. That can become a problem because you see these arteries here, they communicate all this blood flow up to the brain and feed the brain. The brain needs, uh, it needs a few things to make it work really well. One is energy and information. The other one is oxygen. Uh, and that goes through the blood as well as nutrients. And so this blood flow is literally like the, the life fluid or the life force of the brain. It's feeding the brain energy. And so if we have a, a, you know, a mal malfunction in that, if, we, if the neck is out of place, it can severely affect how the brain functions. And that can happen slowly over time or it can happen rapidly in a head or neck injury. Um, so when we look at, you know, like this picture here, you can see, see how all of these arteries come up into the brain. And then we have here, we have this thing called, it's called the circle of Willis. This guy right here, the circle of Willis. Now this is what feeds the brain stem. The brain stem is the part that controls, uh, blood pressure, heart rate, um, immune function, a lot of the base, basic functions of our body that we don't normally think about. And that circle of Willis is constantly feeding up to the brain. Uh, so in this study, what they did was they did an MRA. Now there's an MRI and an MRA. Now an MRI is a normal uh, magnetic, magnetic resonance imaging where they put you in an, an MRI machine, a big magnet, and then um, the picture's taken. But with MRA, what they do is they inject dye and the uh, arteries are uh, more visible. And so it's called an angiogram. And so in this study, they actually have these amazing pictures. This is before and this is, uh, sorry, th these two are before and this is after. These two down here are after the study. So after they did the changes to the neck. So you can see, look at this, this is crazy. So. This is the circle of Willis in a patient. This is right at the brainstem, right at the base of the neck, right where all the, the uh, C1, C2, where all the nerves go down from the skull into the spine. 
Now, all these arteries here are, are light. They're very, um, they're minimal, they're very small. Look at the change after a few weeks of correction to the neck. That is literally lifeblood coming back to the brain. And you can see it more in, in color here in the red. And so what they actually saw was a 23% uh, to 225% uh, increase in pixel intensity, which just means um, uh, more, more image, more, more color, uh, meaning, meaning this area here. This is the pixel intensity, right? So the, the, this more increased, more blood flow, basically, to the brain. Now, that means a lot of things. Um, one, we know that uh, we have this problem with multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, um, Alzheimer's, that's a big thing that, that a lot of people are dealing with these days. And uh, oftentimes we can connect some of those, those terrible diseases back to a traumatic head or neck injury um, and then a lifetime of all kinds of other things that go along with it. But, uh, but oftentimes there's a traumatic head or neck injury that can then be the, the thing that leads to those problems. And um, you know, we're saying, okay, well, the blood flow isn't getting to the brain and it's not getting away from the brain because those, that channel, that pathway is not clear. And it's, it can go along with many other problems, but, but you can just imagine it's literally choking off the brain slightly over time, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so getting the neck checked, making sure that the neck is in alignment is a very important thing to do. Um, you know, seeing, seeing if that neck uh, has a good curve, a nice even curve, and we wanna curve this way. So we wanna curve this way. That head goes forward and we see that neck straighten out, right? So we don't want that. We want a good even curve through the neck, right through here. So, uh, you know, if you are questioning, if you have questions, please reach out. Uh, our office is uh, a retake chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Our phone number is 603-380-9184, and I'm happy to answer questions over email or, or phone call. Uh, but uh, please, uh, you know, if you, if you have struggled with head or neck injuries in the past and have problems with your neck, you should have your neck checked. Uh, give us a call, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.